Hello, Dr. Berg here, and today we're gonna to talk about the number one vitamin D danger that you absolutely positively must know more about. A lot of the research that I'm talking about is based on Dr. Coimbra from Brazil, who studied autoimmune diseases for quite some time, and he has the Coimbra protocol, where he uses a lot of vitamin D. For some people, it could range between 60,000 IUs per day up to 200,000 IUs vitamin D3 every day to penetrate through this resistance and to create the effect to put these autoimmune conditions back in remission. And his success level is like over 90%. If you look at your vitamin D levels and you're assuming like, oh yeah, my levels are fine because my blood levels are fine, don't assume that's really what's going on deeper in the cells. There is some better ways to know if vitamin D is working. I am gonna to get to that. But the blood level only gives you a little bit of information. Is it dangerous to take too much vitamin D? It can be, especially with hypercalcemia, too much calcium in your blood, which can lead to kidney stones. On the flip side, what are the dangers of not having enough vitamin D3? It makes you more susceptible to autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases are the number one health problem on planet Earth right now. I'm talking about MS, Graves, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, vitiligo, which is a skin problem, and Hashimoto's is at the top of the list. That is a hypothyroid condition. Your own body is attacking itself. That part of the immune system is heavily influenced by the amount of vitamin D that you have in your body, actually in your cells. Most of the research that doctors have studied about vitamin D is completely outdated, like 100 years old. Fairly recently, on the time schedule of things, we found out that vitamin D is involved in over 2,500 genes. Okay, that's a lot of different genes and a lot of different functions. And it's especially intimately involved in every part of your immune system. So the amount of vitamin D that you need for the immune system to keep that maintained is between 8,000 and 10,000 IUs. Next one is vitamin D resistance. Just when you thought it was bad, it gets a little bit worse. Most people cannot get enough vitamin D from the sun or the food like they should. There's some resistance to this layer. The primary area is through the genetics. You can look through your DNA and you can actually see if there's a problem with a certain gene that puts you at risk for a very specific autoimmune disease. A lot of people genetically are not getting this vitamin D on top of the other issue of low RDAs. You also have other things that can affect the absorption of vitamin D. Low magnesium, low zinc, low vitamin K2, and also certain viruses downgrade your vitamin D receptors. And now you don't have the defenses anymore. It can then go around the body and do its thing without being attacked by your immune system. Let's just take you and put you in the stone age. You need to protect yourself against parasites, bacteria, viruses, a lot more than you would now because you're out there in the wild and you're probably drinking the water. Your immune system had to develop to deal with all this stuff. You also were getting a lot of sun, way more sun than you get now. So the body had to regulate this amount of UV radiation by kind of shutting down some of the genes so you didn't get too much. Back in the Stone Age, there was a purpose of survival. Let's move you to present time, to modern time right now. You probably are not drinking out of your uh, local pond down the street, but I'll guarantee you're not getting near the amount of sun that you got way back in the day, which means you're not getting near the amount of vitamin D you used to get. The way that you can correct these inflammatory genes is to beef up your vitamin D levels. There's several things that you can do to lessen this problem. To take more magnesium, take vitamin K2, take zinc. And also you can limit your amount of calcium, cutting out the dairy. Right there, you're gonna put the person in a protection mode against hypercalcemia if you just do that. So there are all sorts of ways to prevent the side effects or the toxic effect of vitamin D. I am gonna put a link down below of several doctors that kind of specialize in this if you wanted to work with someone to really do the protocol. If you have some serious autoimmune disease that you need help with, you can get a consultation from a doctor who's trained from Dr. Coimbra. 
but I at least want to give you the data of what they're going to be doing. Since we're talking about Dr. Coimbra, I did an amazing interview with him personally. So I put it up right here. Watch it right now. I think you're going to love it.